Guys, we're on our way to having replicators. In our previous video, I mentioned that 3D printers have printed food, and that I'll be talking about that this week. So I'm talking about it this week. Now just so you know, 3D printers cannot yet solve world hunger, and they certainly will not replace the supply launches sent to space. Yet. But 3D printing has been proven to print basically anything. Well, maybe not anything. I mean, it can't print antimatter, but you know what I mean. 3D printers can print with metals, plastics, ceramics, biocells, and even food. In the next few years, consumers and small businesses could be catching up to big corporations in production. NASA is even looking to use moon dust to create tools, and they're even planning on sending over a robot called Roxygen to convert the dust into air and water. Genius. 3D printers are basically like 2D printers, but they don't print ink on paper. They instead print metals, plastics, biocells, etc. layer by layer until you have your finished product. Unfortunately, the cheapest 3D printers cost thousands of dollars, but the price is dropping rather quickly. Now, it is important to know that you can't just magically print something out of thin air. That's not how science works. Yet. But you can make metal structures out of stainless steel powder. You try doing that with your bare hands. Right now, they're more of a way to quickly and easily assemble something. But you still need the raw materials. It's kind of like how most computers, including the one I made this video on, and possibly even the one you're using to watch this video, contains parts from Taiwan, Japan, and South Korea, but was assembled in, where else, China. Happy First Contact Day, and thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, you should inform us though by giving this video a like, and maybe even subscribe to us. Stay three-dimensional, my friends.